to everyone who sees them, they look like a regular boy and girl. But underneath their clever disguises, they are really aliens. They're on a fact-finding mission to learn all they can about the problems that face the inhabitants of Earth. Their way of looking at people is very different. They see many of them as animals. Hi, I'm Crackdown, and this is Dr. Prevention. Welcome aboard the bumpy road of life tours. On the streets, there are drugs of all kinds. Alcohol is the oldest one around, but the illegal ones take their toll faster. Cocaine mixed with chemicals is called crack cocaine. And now they're even smoking speed and calling it ice. Drugs can easily be a ticket to death. Illegal drugs are in almost every part of our country and in every part of town. Rich people, poor people, famous people, from athletes to politicians, people who live in mansions and people who live in slums. All kinds of people have had their lives ruined because of drugs. This is my neighborhood. I've got an eight ball client. Meet me on the corner in five minutes. The gang wars for drug territories is bad enough, but... If it keeps up like this, everyone who survived the gang wars may die from AIDS or some other drug-related cause. What do you mean, die from AIDS? Doctors are now very worried that a whole group of people are going to get AIDS. The people who use crack and other drugs. Using cracks or other drugs messes up your mind and can easily lead to unsafe sexual activity. To avoid this trap, listen up, and you will get the street smarts you need to survive. Street smarts. If you want to be a slave and show the world that you don't care, that is your trap. Give up on yourself and the big spinners win. Crack is your trap. If you want to lose yourself, respect. If you want to lose everything else. Crack is your trap. On our tour today, you'll see that using alcohol and other drugs, especially smoking crack, can lead to getting AIDS through sex. Drugs and sex. Two links of a chain I call the HIV connection. To understand this HIV connection, let us first talk to Dr. Prevention about AIDS. People get sick or infected with AIDS because of HIV. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, which is what causes the condition known as AIDS, or Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. HIV is a virus that is so small, only powerful microscopes can detect it. The common cold, chicken pox, and measles are caused by viruses. But HIV is not like these viruses. It doesn't survive well outside of the human body. No one has gotten infected from mosquitoes, eating food, or being sneezed <laughs> or coughed upon. <laughs> Toilet seats, doorknobs, or shaking hands, even hugging someone who has AIDS, are all perfectly safe. And of the thousands and thousands of people with AIDS, not one person has been known to get AIDS from kissing. Mm. HIV does not get around that way, and it doesn't float around in the air like the common cold. In short, there are three basic ways HIV gets inside of people. One, infected blood entering the body. Two, sexual contact. Three, infected mother transmitting the virus to her baby. One, infected blood entering the body. HIV lives mostly in blood. It is a blood-borne virus. To spread or be transmitted, HIV has to leave an infected person's blood system and enter inside the blood system of another person to do its damage. Always avoid touching other people's blood. 
sharing needles for IV drugs is a direct way for HIV to enter into a person's body. Two, sexual contact. Intimate sex, though it doesn't usually involve blood, does provide a way for HIV to enter into a person's body. Three, infected mother transmitting the virus to her baby. Babies get AIDS because their mothers have HIV. There are two ways HIV can find a way into the baby's blood system. During development, HIV can sometimes find a way into the baby's body, or during delivery, blood-to-blood -blood contact can occur. Now you know the three basic ways HIV gets inside of people. These three routes allow HIV only limited possible ways of being transmitted. Once HIV has entered a person's body, it can break down the body's ability to fight infection. This is AIDS, a body that cannot defend itself. Thousands and thousands of people have experienced HIV infection, developed AIDS, and died. People who think that they may have been exposed to HIV should get tested. If someone tests positive, he or she can get help. Doctors have developed drugs that help prolong life, but there is still no cure for AIDS. Visiting with people who have AIDS can make a big difference in easing the stress they feel and can strengthen their will to live. The longer they live, the better their chances of maybe one day being cured. The first two ways that HIV is spread are avoidable. And that means that you have choices in your life that can affect your health. You don't have to take these chances at giving HIV a shot at shortening your life, do you? So this is the first half of the HIV connection. We will explain the rest of what you need to know in Modulate 2.